Hi, I've been um, working on some existing beds I had um, created uh, with um, treated lumber, unfortunately. I um, wasn't aware of the dangers back when I did it. Um, they were really for flowers. Now I'm using them as vegetable gardens. But um, from what I understand, most of most of um, the chemicals have leached out already by now. They're pretty old beds. They're about oh nine years old. I put one top beam um, on the on the existing timbers, um, basically to do the uh, male um, square garden concept and uh, fill in um, the mill mix for six inches with a weed cover at the bottom uh, to prevent uh, weeds coming up from the old existing soil. Um, as I understand it though, uh, anything that remains of chemicals will be washed down, not necessarily spread out into the soil, so I should be okay with the produce. Also, I, um, I'll show you here. We actually um, did put plastic um, all around to protect any uh, filtration of chemicals from the treated lumber onto the uh, soil as possible. Anyway, so here I am. Um, today's a nice rainy day. We've been having rain for the last week or so, and I've been coming out daily and doing a uh, little work at a time. And I just finished doing the A-frame on top of this one 8 by 4 frame bed and um, I'm working on the second. Uh, uh, my husband Bob is out doing another project so I'm hoping he'll come and uh, help me anytime soon to uh, screw these down since he has a little more strength than, than I do. <laughs> Pretty long screws I'm using there. Anyway, I plan to use these uh, enclosed frames um, as greenhouses in early spring. I am going to staple velcro onto the frame and sew velcro onto plastic sheathing so I could remove panels um, and place panels at will. Um, I could use it for shading plants during the summer when it's too hot and or for growing um, seeds and uh, protecting plants from storm and, and uh, bad weather. Um, now during the summertime I will be putting netting on it and uh, when I hear that weather is getting bad or storms coming I could come out and just um, stick my sheeting onto the frame itself instead of doing this lower concept with the PVC which works great but um, as far as I'm concerned it's kind of a pain to to lift and cover and as you could tell right here, I have some um, vegetables growing in there right now, but um, I'm not too crazy over the look of, of this system. I'd rather have something cleaner looking, um, that uh, more appealing to the eye that we could sit here and enjoy and I'll have that little green house um, feel. Of course, I don't know. The knitting I got is very light. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to do the trimming on the uh, squash and uh, cucumber plants and eggplants that I've seen on TV where um, they're staked, bottom leaves are, are trimmed, and you trim as you harvest so you end up with a uh, tall looking plant rather than a large bush taking too much room. So hopefully that'll be maintained pretty nicely within the uh, netting. The other reason for the netting is um, we have lots of deer here and hopefully we'll keep the deer, rabbits, foxes, all the other little critters out. We also have lots of uh, bears. Um, don't know if I could keep the bears out but I'm not planting any fruit and hope and lots of onions around my carrots in hopes of keeping them at bay. Here's the rest of the wood that I have cut out for the next A-frame I'm working on right now and um, trying to stay dry in the meantime. And that's pretty much all for now. Um, thanks for watching and I will post another video as soon as I have advanced here a little bit further. 
thank you bye